Hello guys, today we're going to take another look at a product from IC Station. This is a little sound module and basically what it does is when it detects a loud sound like a clap or uh, maybe a click in your fingers, it sends out a signal so that you can uh, switch on lights or switch off lights or something like that. It's based on an LM393 chip and it comes in this compact little module here. You can see our microphone and we have a little pot here, I presume that um, regulates the sensitivity of the, uh, the little board here. And we'll play around with that in a minute. Don't forget if you want one of these, the link is always in the description. And uh, there should be a promo code in the description as well, so you can get yourself 10% off on any products from IC stations, any Arduinos or anything that you want. It comes in this little compact module, which you could probably put in a little components box and... Just uh, leave space for the microphone here so that you can actually get the signal because if you put it inside the box it would probably uh, just muffle the signal, it probably wouldn't work so well. You have a little indicator LED here so that will tell us that it's actually working without us even looking at the signal but I'll hook it up to the oscilloscope in a minute and we'll see what kind of signal it will take to trigger this. So I'm just going to hook it up to a 3.7 volt battery here that I always use, this is the battery pack from the PC400. And we should get 3.7 volts here. It says 5 volts on the board here, but uh, the chip should be good for 4 volts to 6 volts. And with the fully charged battery, we should be about 4.2 volts, I think. So hopefully, this will work. The little indicator LED is just there. I'm going to clap now, so I might cut the sound on the video so that I don't deafen you with the clap. But uh, uh, just keep an eye on the LED there. Okay, I don't think uh, we're picking that up on the camera, so I'll get another camera stand and zoom in a bit. Okay, we're zoomed in a lot closer now. You should be able to uh, see the light. So this is about half a meter, I'd say, away from the microphone. Okay, I really can't tell if you can see that on the screen or not, but it, it does, when you get a good clap, it uh, does definitely light up the little LED there. Uh, it also works when you click your fingers too. It was working when I clicked my fingers a little while ago, but it doesn't seem to be working now. Maybe the battery's getting a little low, or maybe the sensitivity's not just right. Okay, well, I think I'll hook it up to the oscilloscope here and we'll hopefully be able to see the signal a lot clearer on the screen. Okay, well, we have it hooked up to the oscilloscope now. You can see we have 3.9 volts there, so that's probably the voltage of the battery. Uh, it's close enough to the 4 volts, I'd say. Uh, we can see that we have a normally high signal here, so output signal. So what you do is you have your microcontroller test the signal for... Well, you could you probably set up an interrupt, so when the signal goes low, uh, it triggers the interrupt on your microcontroller, and then you do whatever you want, switch on your uh, your relay, or whatever you want to do, turn on your LEDs, or anything like that. So it should be a bit clearer now when I clap. If the device is picking it up, we should see it drop, so... There you go, it seems to be hard enough to get a good clap. So it seems like only a clap is good enough to get it to go. So let's see if adjusting the pot will adjust the sensitivity.
So now you can see when you adjust the pot, it's too sensitive now and it's on all the time. So now we're just below the point where it's on all the time. And it's picking up a uh, click in the fingers. So it seems to be picking up whistling as well. When we clap, we're getting, even if I'm talking, we're picking up signals there. So, probably overly sensitive at that point. And now it looks like it's not sensitive enough. <whistles> looks like we have it back to around about where it was at the start. Works with the clap and the claps alone. So that's an interesting little thing. Uh, you could set it up so that it had to detect two claps or something to turn on the lights or something like that. But as you can see, it'd be pretty easy to interface with your microcontroller. You just wait for the signal to go low and that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's based on the LM393 chip, so maybe you could figure out your own circuit for that. And uh, if you want this module, you can get it on IC Station. There's a link and there should be a discount code in the description of the video. So. Uh, head down there if you want to uh, pick one up. You could also pick up your yeah, microcontrollers, your Arduinos, and other stuff there. And if you have any comments or any suggestions about the module or what you might do with it, uh, let me know below the video. And uh, you can always head on over to the forum as well, join in the discussion there. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about the module, so thanks very much for watching.